we're here with Matt Wilson, and Matt's the creative director over at uh, Sony Online, and uh, we're here looking at the agency. So what can you tell us about the agency? Well, the agency, what we want to do is submerse the player and live the life of an elite agent. And what I mean by that is the action, the adventure, and the intrigues that the spy and espionage genre has been all about. Good. You made it. When you first start, we're going to start you in one of the established organizations, Unite or Paragon. And Unite is kind of our high-end, James Bond, martini drinking, lifestyle-oriented group. Schwanky. Absolutely. You would be a very beautiful Unite agent. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Paragon Down and Dirty Mercenaries. They drink Jack Daniels, bust the door down, and blow stuff up. And the whole idea is that when you actually uh, join the agency, you'll start in one of those agencies, and then you'll work your way up to the kind of high-end elite agent status where you actually build out your own agency. Lorian has chosen a stealth agent, and she's actually going to start playing through uh, with Glenn, who's playing on the PS3. One of the things we're showing off at E3 this year is both PC and PS3 play. We haven't confirmed whether we're going to have that at, at launch, but we definitely wanted to show that working. Can you tell us when it's going to be coming out? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Ah, oh, that's always how it is with this espionage bullcrap. Uh, ballpark? Well, what we're working on right now is we're actually getting both the PS3 and the PC into beta. Once we're in beta, we'll make the announcement. So that's what we're focused on right now. Okay, very cool. And if people want to uh, go online and find out more information? Absolutely. It's theagencygame.com. Check it out. A message to all Robocolites. Just when you thought you were safe from super polite killer robots, well, think again. Because now it's a crazy beaver. So I'm here with Alan Martin, who is a senior producer over at Vogster Entertainment. And uh, he's here talking to me about Robocalypse. Robocalypse Beaver Defense. So there's two different Robocalypse. What can you tell us about them? Uh, we have two Robocalypse titles that we're showing here. Robocalypse Beaver Defense, which is our WiiWare exclusive title. That is a tower defense game set in the wacky Robocalypse world. And then we have Robocalypse Mobile Mayhem, which is coming out on the iPhone, which is a, a iPhone version of our DS game, Robocalypse, the real-time strategy game that came out last end of last year. So the original story, which is in Robocalypse Mobile Mayhem, uh, the Thermodoom company, which makes uh, killer robots on one production line and household-friendly appliances on another, has a, an accident and these evil killer robots are created and now it's your job to use your friendly robots to stop them. So Mobile Mayhem, real-time strategy game. Uh, full out, uh, you, you, know, you build, you have to resource manage, but it's, uh, uh, it's tailored for an audience that hasn't played a lot of real-time strategy games as well as those who are familiar with you know, the classics back in the 90s, you know, Warcraft 2, stuff like that. Um, so the storyline, then a separate storyline, but involving the same company for Beaver Defense, the same company that makes the evil killer robots has been horribly polluting the environment. Uh, and all of that's been going into one specific beaver dam and one beaver who's been you know, terribly mutated and deformed. He's got a giant brain and uh, you know, being super smart has its, has its benefits. Now he's able to steal the plans to the robots and attack the world to uh, satisfy his uh, cravings for uh, you know, world domination. Wow, epic. This is epic. Yes, yes, epic cartoon adventures. And when can we expect to see these available? Uh, both will be released at the end of the summer. Uh, we're looking at late August release. What's the website? People want to check it out? Sure, it's www.robocalypse.com. Okay, www.robocalypse.com. Defend your headquarters and destroy the beaver. Robocalypse Beaver Defense. So I'm here with Michael Kennedy from Vokester Entertainment. He's also a senior producer and uh, he's here showing me the PSP title Unbound Saga. 
Uh, what do you want to tell us about the game? Uh, well, let's see. Unbound Saga is a uh, old school side scrolling arcade style brawler, kind of the Streets of Rage, uh, final final fight style gameplay. You know, go back to that old the old 16 bit brawlers of our youth, and uh, and we brought it kind of kicking and screaming into the next generation with the 3D graphics, real time lighting, ragdoll physics, all of that fun stuff. But we kept the old school style of control. You know, we wanted to keep it nostalgic and easily accessible. So in it, you play as this guy, that guy that just got knocked down. Uh, he's a kind of surly comic book tough guy named Rick Ajax, who's, uh, you know, he's been doing all of these kind of ridiculous juvenile comic book adventures for 30 years. You know, he's gone through the black and white era, the talking animal era. He's been a comic book for a long time, kind of going up and down through all the different trends. And after about 30 years of that, he's finally had enough. So he's uh, in the game, he's going on this kind of Twisted Wizard of Oz journey to find the maker and to have a few words. In my world, nothing's ever soft and easy. I'm a comic book tough guy, trapped in a world of endless trouble. It's what I was created to do. But the gameplay, we wanted it to just be easily accessible, punch, kick, grab, throw, lots of combos, you know, but like, the depth is there for you to find it if you want it, but really, wanted to keep it arcadey. You can play it for five minutes, 10 minutes, or you can get sucked in for hours. So, When's the release expected? We're looking at uh, July 16th, and it'll be available on the PlayStation Network. It's going to be direct download only. So you can download it straight to your PSP Go when that comes out. Great. And if people want to check it out online, where should they go? Uh, UnboundSaga.com. UnboundSaga.com. Thanks so much. Yeah, we don't share much love for each other, the maker and me. And one of these days, we're going to square off. with you, Namba, and um, he's here to talk to us about Trauma Team, which is a new Atlas game. So what do you want to tell us about the game? Well, uh, this game is about a hospital in the United States, and uh, we're focusing on not just one single doctor, but six doctors, uh, each with their own specialties. Uh, we have a surgeon, we have an EMT, an orthopedic surgeon, a technician who specializes in endoscope, a diagnostician, and uh, finally, a forensics person and um, they will have um, their own set of story that the, the player can go through um, with each stage, basically doing a very different kind of game style um, for each of the, the main characters. What are some really exciting uh, different features that uh, this game provides? Well, um, this is, I guess, the third in the series for the Wii, and uh, the past two games um, focused only on the surgery portion. But uh, in this game, uh, we'd like to widen our audience. So uh, not only the people who like playing action games, but um, like problem solving or puzzles or um, the very meticulous, careful work, you know, uh, those people can enjoy the game as well. And I'm looking at it right now, and it seems to have a kind of comic book feel. Was there a, sp a specific comic book that you're pulling from? Um, not, not anything in particular, but uh, we're mixing the, the Japanese anime feel uh, along with this comic book format. Um, with a little bit of animation in there, so it's not just you know plain still motion thing uh, when you go through the story. Very exciting. Um, can you tell us when it's going to be coming out? Uh, we're shooting for spring of 2010. Spring of 2010. And uh, is there a website people can check out more information? Yes, uh, we will have a page open at www.atlas.com slash trauma team. Okay, www.atlas.com slash trauma team. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.